Hi everyone, welcome back to the Block Base Plus Sew Along. This is the video for Block 7. Remember that this video will cover the same steps that are in the written blog post, so you can follow the blog post or you can watch this video, either one works. Let's get started. Go ahead and open up your Block Base Plus software. And if you still see that getting started screen, go ahead and close it. The block we'll be working with today is 2564. You can find that in the 14 square and a square category. In the 11 like the radio windmill section. It's this block here. Remember, if you'd prefer, you can use the search options up here at the top of the navigation panel and search for that block number. Today we're going to take a look at the Save as PDF option that's available in the Print Preview screen. With the block selected here in the viewer, click Print in the block toolbar and choose Templates from the menu. In the Print Templates window, you can change any of the settings that you'd like. I'll be making the block at the default 12 inch size and I'm going to leave all these other settings at their defaults as well. When you've made your changes, click the Preview button. On the Print Preview screen, make sure you check the box for the 1 inch scale square so that you see that little square appear on the first page. Then you can start moving and rotating your templates for the best fit on the pages. Remember that you can use that green handle to rotate the patches around. And if I'm careful here, I think I can get all of these onto two pages. Sometimes it takes a little more finessing than others. So when you've got all of your templates arranged and rotated the way that you would like, instead of print, this time we're going to click on Save as PDF. A save window will appear, and by default, the file will be named the Brackman ID number. If you'd like to change it, you can type a new name here. PDFs from BlockBase Plus are saved in the My BlockBase Plus folder in a folder called PDFs. I'm using a Windows computer, so if you're using a Mac, your save window will look a little different, but the default directory will be the same. Click the Save button, and a PDF file will be created on your computer. Click the Close button in the Print Preview, and then Close again in the Print Templates window. Now let's take a look at where that PDF was saved on our computer. Outside of BlockBase Plus, navigate to your Documents folder, then to your My BlockBase Plus folder, and then the PDFs folder. There you will see the PDF file that we just created. If you double click on it, it will open up in your PDF reader. I am using Adobe Acrobat as my PDF reader, but there are other options available as well. So let me change the view so we can view one full page. So here's the first page of our templates. There's our one inch scale square and I can view the other page as well. One thing I want to uh, mention if you're printing from a PDF, make sure that fit or shrink oversized pages is not selected when you print. You want it to be actual size, so that way it prints your templates to the correct size for the block that you want to make. And it's always a good idea to double check after you print by measuring that one inch scale square that's available on the printout. So now that we've taken a look at the PDF, I'm gonna click cancel here. So you may be wondering what the advantage is to saving the print preview as a PDF file rather than just hitting print. 
for patterns like templates or foundations, it's nice to save as a PDF because those printouts take a little bit more work on the print preview screen to move your, your templates or your foundation sections around on the pages to get them to fit best. So if you save a PDF file, you can do that just one time. And then anytime you want to print again, you can just open up the PDF file and hit print rather than going through the steps of the print preview screen. It's also nice for blocks that you think you would print multiple times. Um, that way you don't have to go through the print preview process. Um, you can just print directly from the PDF. So now that we've had a look at the PDF, I'm going to close my reader and go back to the block base plus window. The last thing we need to do is add block 2564 to our favorites. So double check that it's selected in the viewer and then click add to favorites in the block toolbar. At the top of the navigation panel, click the favorites button and there you'll see our seven blocks from the sew along. If you are done working in block base plus, you can click the X at the top of the screen or click file quit block base plus. Just some quick reminders before I send you off to sew. You can make the block any size that you like, and you can be creative in the way that you color the block. Just make sure that you keep the seams and the patches in the same orientation as the original. There will be a new post on the blog on Friday, July 2nd, where you can share a photo of your sewn block. I look forward to seeing your blocks. Have fun, everyone.